Hi, I'm Andy Ross and welcome to ASTAR Studios. I'm going to give you a guided tour and talk about our amazing studio and our special live room with our amazing acoustics in there, which I think really gives that big sound um, that a lot of musicians are looking for today. Um, to tell you a little bit about the studio, we've been here now for nearly 10 years and um, so far I've got a Mercury nomination for Kit Downs, which is an acoustic jazz record. Um, we've received um, nominations twice from the Pro Sound for the top studio in Europe and everything's going great and I'm going to give you a guided tour as I said and hopefully get you to come and join me at ASTAR. So here's the live room at ASTAR. I'll just take you over here. Here's where we always have the drums. Um, all the equipment that you see in the studio belongs to the studio and is here for people to use. So we've got, as I say, a fantastic drum kit to amazing room full of guitars from Les Pauls, Fenders, 12 strings, um, an array of different amps from Ashdown bass rigs to um, Marshall Anniversary amps, all sounding fantastic. Um, and the idea when I set up this studio was to get a big sound. I did not want at all to have a studio which had this small, dry sound that was completely not what I wanted. So when the room was designed, um, the designer came up with a system. Now you can see that these boards over here, they absorb the sound. And they're kind of on a rail system up here. Whereas these ones over here scatter the sound. And the idea is that we can actually move the boards in or out of the room or in different positions to affect the sound of the room. So depending on what style of music we have coming in, we can actually tailor the sound of the room to suit that project, which we think is quite unique. Um, the musicians that we've had playing in here, I'm extremely lucky to work with the likes of Steve White on drums, who was Paul Weller's drummer, Simon Moore, who's played with, uh, is currently playing with Ruby Turner, to a good friend of mine, Neil Fairclough, who's the bass player now with Queen. And over here is where we normally bring in pianos. We can bring in anything from uh, full-size grand pianos, um, which come right through the door, right through the shutters, um, to suit any project. So we believe we've got everything here to make the the best possible mu music. So you can see there one of my favourite mics, the, the U87, which we have loads of microphones from uh, the U87, different Neumanns, uh, AKGs, the lot. Um, so we believe we've, we've found the best way and the best acoustics to create the best environment to record it. The mixing process, which is ultimately the end, of creating a piece of music. Um, I always look to save time by ways of editing as I go along, which I think is really important. And performance is key. That is the, the biggest thing for me, is that um, I will not let anything go in the sense that something has to be played right. If it's not played right, we'll do it again and again and again until it is played right. Because from my perspective, it's the mix is going to be easier and Ultimately, everything's going to sound more special if the performance is there.